I'm the color guard director at Sprague High School. We started the color guard, my husband and I, four years ago when we first came to Salem, Oregon. Sprague had no color guard and to my knowledge there was not a color guard in the, in the city of Salem. And we decided to start it to visually enhance the marching band. Other parts of the country it had been very successful and we decided to um, start with just 16 girls. Lo and behold, we, we had 36 that showed up. We took this first set of girls to Spokane, or some of them, and with no previous knowledge, they were amazed at what kind of, oh, Alan, <laughs> can we do it again? I just, I'm asked constantly about what I do at Sprague High School, and people are very confused when I, I tell them that I'm a color guard director. Color guard is not something that is very common in the city of Salem. Until four years ago, when my husband and I started it, there was nothing. One more time, Alan. I'm sorry. Sorry. People constantly ask me what Color Guard is. I'm Rhonda Booth, the Color Guard director at Sprague High School. And the Color Guard is a musical embellishment and a visual embellishment of the band program. Four years ago, when my husband and I came to Salem, there was no such program here in the city of Salem, and definitely nothing like that in the school of Sprague. We went to some of the students and asked them to bring us 16 girls, and were lucky enough to come up with 36. And from that point on, the color guard has really grown. It goes in two seasons. In the fall, we are a part of the marching band. In fact, we are just one section of the marching band and in the winter we go into the gym and do our own program as a winter guard. The girls in the winter guard compete on um, a circuit and go to several different shows and in the fall with the band they go wherever the band goes. Four years ago these girls had no previous experience in color guard. Very few of them had experience in marching and very few of them had any musical training. And in those four years, we have really developed and grown to where the girls are actually musical performers, even though they are interpreting the music visually. I, just as a matter of, of interest, the, f the first fall that we were in business as a color guard, we took some girls up to Spokane, Washington to view a contest and these girls who were so amazed at some of the color guards, some of them not being even good, couldn't believe how the flags were going around and around at the same time. Here we are four years later and some of the same girls are still in the color guard and now not only do we worry about just getting things timed so that they go around and around, but we worry more about interpreting music and putting body movement in and so forth. And the girls now are, are to the point of being experienced and can um, interpret a lot of things that I show them once and I don't have to worry about the timing any longer. They are developing some musical training and people are constantly asking me what color guard is. I'm Rhonda Booth. I'm the color guard instructor at Sprague High School. Four years ago, when my husband and I came to Salem, there was no color guard at Sprague High School, let alone the city of Salem. And we started the color guard to visually enhance the marching band program. We started with 36 girls and took four of them to Spokane. And just to show the inexperienced level that these girls had, they were amazed to see flags go around and around and around together at the same time. And later on, they learned, of course, that this was the purpose of the color guard and that the timing needs to be there. And as they progressed technically and were able to get the timing things together, then more musical interpretive things came in. The color guard moves in two seasons. In the fall, they are with the marching band, and they do, they do and travel exactly as the marching band does. And in the winter, we function as a separate group, as a winter guard. The winter guard competes on a circuit. And here is involved more intricate equipment maneuvers and drill maneuvers. And the girls are given more opportunity to express musically what is happening in a visual sense.
people are constantly asking me what a color guard is. I'm Rhonda Booth. I'm the color guard instructor at Sprague High School. Four years ago, when my husband and I came to Salem, there was no color guard program at Sprague High, let alone the city of Salem. And we started it as a visual enhancement of the marching band. Here we are four years later, and the color guard can now claim two Northwest championships and a lot of first place titles. That's simply amazing when I think back four years when we took some girls up to Spokane and they were very amazed to see flags go around and around together. Now I don't have to worry about the flags going around and around together. The timing is usually there and we work on more interpretive things. The color guard functions actually as two units. In the fall, we are an integral part of the marching band and we function as a part of the marching band. It if they take... Shoot!